Hello viewers, it's Tito Michael for three views, bringing you my 648 podcast. This is my 648 podcast. Like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly. Thank you for understanding. Also, I try to do my best not to break your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, and finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will have some adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will have some adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then you better watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this, it is the upset the way. Let's get into, let's get into this review. Recently, I finally got to watch, you know, the new Ghostbusters movie. And I gotta say, it's not bad. It's not bad, you know, but, but honestly, it's not bad, but it could have been better, (laughs) better, but it's just like, you know, I'm not too... It's kind of, I grew up watching the Ghostbuster movie, the, I grew up watching the two original Ghostbuster movies, the Ghostbuster cartoons, you know, I know every line from, from I know every line is from the first and second Ghostbuster movie, the original two Ghostbuster movie, movies, so basically, basically, I'm not too, I'm not saying it was terrible. I'm just saying, like, you know, it was a lot, but, you know, I just felt like, I felt like it didn't really have, you know, a, like, it tried, like, no, like, the, you know, the ghost, the ghost is, you no, know, it had some good Easter eggs, you know, we get to see the slime pack, we get to see Slimer again, you know, you know, the lore, you know, the lore bitten up to the big bad ghost of the, uh, the main big bad ghost was all right, but I just felt like, you know, like, you know, it, it should have focused on the, on the characters from Afterlife, the new, the new characters, and focus on the pre and the old characters from the original Ghostbusters movie instead of just adding characters like you know, and that adding too many characters that you know went 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 meaningless went uh, went more on uh, uh, you know what uh, went meaningless you know side plots to it. So basically, I'm just saying that you know, I just wish that you know. That Aegon's grandson, you know, his girlfriend, the, his black girlfriend from the uh, from Afterlife, you know, I wish that I wish there was a, I wish there was a better part for him to him Aegon's grandson and his and his so called black girlfriend to, you know, you know, better part to uh, evolve their romance and whatnot, and also Aegon's daughter, who's who's boyfriend is like you know, I feel like it. Didn't, you know, it, like, you know, hey, they're working together, they're living together now, so basically, it, it felt kind of awkward that, you know, it felt kind of awkward that, you know, they haven't really, you know, really solidified, solidified their, their, uh, their relationship, turns on, like, you know, I live at, you know, I'm living with you, you know, you know, I work with the kids every day, like, you know, so basically, like, you know, do, do we, do we take the next step and get married or something like that, so basically, you know, that, and also, and also, it needed more bank, man, so basically, basically, like, Peter, <laughs> Like and Peter was, you know, dead aqua. I mean, it's, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Bill Murray, you know, I like to see more Bill Murray, you know, making some funny line jokes in this movie. So basically, I feel like the movie suffered a bit. And like, you know, we get, we get more, we spend more time with the other Ghostbuster characters, and, you know, you know, spend more time with the other oh, Ghostbuster cast, except for Murray. So basically, and a few scenes. So basically, I just wish that Murray, you know, be like, you know, eh, no, if they do another Ghostbusters movie, I'm like, you know, we need to see more, we need to see more, more uh, of Bill Murray, you know, and, and, and Bill, and, you know, and, and more Ghostbusters movies. If they continue making new Ghostbusters movies after Love of the Empire. And also, it was good to see Walk the Pack. Honestly, 
I was, it was kind of disappointing they didn't bring back Sophie Wheeler. They didn't bring back, you know, Dana, Dana, and you know, Dana and Lewis. So basically, like, you know, Nick Grandis is basically retired from acting. But you know, I just wanted to see how, you know, they could at least tell us, tell us that, you know, how is Lewis doing? You know, you no, know, you know, tell us about Lewis and whatnot. You know, and basically, I wanted to, you know. I wanted to know, hey, what happened to Lewis? Like, you know, you know, you know, what happened to Lewis and whatnot? You know, where where is Dana at? And so basically, oh, you know, you know, are they, you know, is she doing something else? Like, you no, know, is she still, hey, you know, is she still doing her music or not, or, or, or etc. So basically, it didn't. The movie did not give us the explanation why Lewis and Dana was acting from the movie, from uh, from this movie after we after we saw Dana in Afterlife and an end credit. We saw Dana in an end credit at. At, at Ghostbusters Afterlife, but we, we, you know, I would like to know about the status about Dana and Lewis, what the hell they were at. So, if, you know, is Lewis dead? You know, is Dana doing something else and whatnot? So, anyway, I also like the fact that, you know, this brain has the containment unit works. So, basically, you know, another good thing is we got to, we got to, we got to have, we finally got got a, a exclamation how the Ghostbusters containment unit that they used to track you know to you know you know keep all the ghosts that they're that they capture and you know we we finally got more more information how 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 the containment the ghost containment unit works and whatnot. I like that back at all. But, you know, like, you know, the character, uh, the kid, you know, I just felt like, you know, it should have been like, you know, let's focus on the characters from Afterlife and the oak. Let's focus on the new kid characters on Afterlife and, 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 and only focus on the new characters from Afterlife and, and the old characters from the original Ghostbuster movies and, you know, let them side. I just felt like it was kind of overload, low with, you know, it's like, you know, we did have two, we did have two, two new characters, well, actually three new characters introduced, you know, like the ghost that, that Egon's daughter, Egon, you know, Egon's granddaughter's friend, that, you know, she was decent. I liked that, you know, but, you know, like characters, or, or the character, or the character that, you know, who was head of Ghostbuster Research, that went, that recent hired, you know, he was all right, he, he, he played a role with Luke Robert Joe, but honestly, I felt like, you know, when it came to the, um, the Fire Guardian dude, who, who, the Fire Guardian dude, you know, he was, you know, he was funny, but, you know, I felt like he was kind of unnecessary in, in certain parts of the movie, you know, but, you know, the movie kind of kind of built him up as a necessary, you know, and necessary, as, as a necessary character, you know, even though I felt like, you know, he was not a necessary character, but, you know, there were some, uh, like, you know, we did see some more diversity in this movie. So, basically, you no, know, we got an Indian guy and whatnot. So, basically, you know, we saw a bit more diversity in this movie. <laughs> a bit of more race diversity in this movie. But, you know, my point is, you know, the movie's not bad. It's not bad, but it could have been better. So basically, like honestly, honestly, it's have to put folks in part against uh, against afterlife. You know, afterlife was afterlife was honestly afterlife was the much. You know, it's had to put once again blah 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 on the palm guy. So basically, it's had to put 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 go for the folks in part against afterlife. Afterlife was a it set a tone at the top. It had a serious tone to it, but it did, but it did have some comedy to balance out the serious tone. But you know, here I felt like you know, like you know, it was too, 
it was trying to it was trying to like you know trying to trying to like you know trying to like you know mix up the drama with comedy too much like you know you know no it was not and some scenes like you know it did need a bit more drama to it and other scenes you know and other and you know and other scenes you know it needed some comedy in it so basically like you know the comedy of 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 Ghostbusters for the Empire was kind of like you know you know was kind of unbalanced then it. It wasn't a great balance between comedy and 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 drama and, and afterlife. But the ghosts were good, you know. We got some Easter eggs and whatnot. So basically, you know, we got some Easter eggs and Easter eggs and reference from past from past from the past two Ghostbuster movies and whatnot, and you know, and the, uh, you know, and afterlife and whatnot. So basically, we got some references, you know. We we saw the slime pack. We saw we saw this we saw the slime from the second movie and and the Tupperware and whatnot so they think we got the Mossman man from the Afri show up you know etc cetera, etc cetera. so anyway you know as a fan of the ghost of the ghostbuster of, of the two original ghostbuster movie I'm just saying this is this is just my opinion you know this movie was okay so basically I'm not you know, it did have it did have some problems, but you know, it was it like you know, at least it was decent. You know, decent. It, it's a decent movie. You know, it's a decent movie. You know, yes, they could have done more to it. You know, to make it great, it greater. But you know, it was a decent movie. You know, you know the special effects were on point and whatnot. The ghosts looked, at, you know, the big bag, the, the all the ghosts looked, at, you know, looked at good. Everything, you know, I just felt, felt like you know. They could have done more with the characters, or uh, characters, you know, you know, done more with the characters, you know, the characters, you know, you know, you know plot uh, story plots in in this movie. So anyway, that's my opinion on on Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. It's not a bad movie. It could have been greater, but you know. It's a decent watch, so basically, it's decent. It's a decent, good movie, though. <laughs> That's all I got to say about this. It was a decent, good movie, though. So anyway, what do you guys think about Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire? Good, bad, or just nah? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, signing off. It's three views. One.